Welcome back to my channel. It's Ryan the Collector Kid and thank you so much for joining me today. So that's right, I wanted to do something around Doctor Who today. As you know, uh, Doctor Who is quite a big passion of mine and it's something that I started the channel with. So it seems fitting today to do something Doctor Who related. Now you might be thinking, Ryan, why are you wearing a scarf and a hat in uh, hot Perth weather? Uh, it's been sort of around 35 to 38 uh, every day, so it's it's been getting very, very hot. And also, wouldn't it be good to actually have somewhere to put my hat? Well, hang on. What's that sound? Can you hear that sound? Oh, there's a hat stand. Must be the master playing tricks on me. Where is he? Where is that master? Anyways, yeah, I uh, finally got a hat stand uh, to be able to put my hat on. go and the scarf that's a good segue into opening up my first item now this is an item that came out late last year through a company called Lavazi now they are based in the UK and they make a lot of uh, props and replicas from a lot of famous movies and TV shows obviously they make a lot of Doctor Who props and things like that and when this item popped up I couldn't miss out on getting it so my good friend Glenn, uh, who I know through Doctor Who Facebook chat group, uh, reached out to me and a bunch of other people who wanted to get this item as well and was able to do a bit of a, a mail bundle uh, to get it to Australia um, and save on postage. I actually got this just before Christmas, so I've been itching to open up this item. It is 7th Doctor related. If you haven't guessed already what it is, we're about to find out. Let's open it up. So it's coming in quite a, a long tube here. Um, so we're going to sort of work our way from the bottom of the tube and uh, have a look and see what we got. Oh, okay. So this is something that I've always wanted, um, being a Doctor Who fan. Um, and the Seventh Doctor, starring Sylvester McCoy, is one of my favourite Doctors. Obviously second to Tom Baker, but he's still pretty high up there uh, in the Doctors that I, I grew up watching on TV. So, let's have a look and see what we got. I'm going to take the top off here as well. Yes. <laughs> oh man. This is so cool. A lot of packing here. All right, here we go. This is the Seventh Doctor's umbrella with the famous question mark in a beautiful red color. Um, and as I said, this is made by Lavazi. Um, you can order it now on the website. I think if you sign up, you can get like five pounds off. And they often do a lot of uh, good deals as well. And of course, there's the famous bottom part as well. And this is solid wood as well. So pretty amazing to sort of get this one. Um, it does come in a really cool um, protective cover um, with lots of question marks. So if we take the sleeve off, there we go. We have the original Seventh Doctor's umbrella with the question mark. Really happy to sort of get that into the collection. And that's why we got the hat stand as well. So we can obviously put it in the corner there now and uh, go for gold. So we'll, uh, we'll come back to this a little bit later. Let's move on to the next item that I also got from Lavazi as well. Now this was another item that you can also get through lavazi.com. I know I'm doing a big plug-in for them. They should uh, sponsor me. So if you're watching Lavazi, send me a message on Instagram. We'd love to get in touch with you. As I mentioned before, they do a lot of um, replica props from Doctor Who. Um, and this one was actually uh, in the latest uh, Doctor Who episode with Jodie Whittaker. Again, this is something that I've always wanted. Um, I know that Daypol brought out a version of this item as well. Um, but as you know, with Daypol toys, they are getting harder and harder to find. And when I saw this again, I actually ordered it directly via the website. Uh, Glenn was saying that it's actually gonna be a lot quicker and cheaper to actually order it. So I think it was only about 10 or $15 Australian to actually get it shipped. And it basically came within about a week and a half from England. So happy with that, so pleased. So enough of me yapping, let's crack on and open it up and see what we got. 
Oh wow, here we go. So as you can see, this is the Seventh Doctor's uh, jumper that he wears as part of his outfit. Um, and uh, this is again made by Lavazi directly through their website. You can order them now. Um, and uh, you can also choose your size as well. So I chose a medium size as well. Open this one up. It's got a nice little zip bag. And here we are. This is the Seventh Doctor's jumper. Um, beautiful detail, really nice condition. So we're just gonna try it on now. Look at that, that's great. And it's even got pockets as well. Just notice the little pockets um, in the bottom here. So that's so cool. I'm in the process of putting a Seventh Doctor outfit together and uh, sourcing different materials either online um, with replicas as close as I can, like this jumper and the Seventh Doctor umbrella as well. I have looked online in regards to the coat um, and the hat because um, I want to sort of try and get them as close as possible. I'd probably go with the light grey coat as that was the first season of the Seventh Doctor and maybe look at the brown coat later on um, where he sort of wore it in Ghost Light and uh, Survival. But um, I'm also going to try my luck at some of the local op shops as well so stay tuned um, with that. Um, but yeah, this fits, this fits really nicely. I'm really happy. It's not even that hot so um, I might I might keep it on for a bit, but um, yeah, really cool to sort of get that one into the collection. And again, that's through lavazi.co.uk. I'll leave a link um, in the description where you can uh, have a look for yourself and um, yeah, order it. A handkerchief as well, um, and sort of a bandana that you can get for that, that hat as well. So um, I might have to order those or have a chat to Lavazi and see what they can organize for me. And then I'll have the, the full outfit um, once I get the hat and the jacket and the, the pants and all that. Let's move on to the next item and have a look and see what we got. All right, so we've got another package here. It's quite a, a smaller package. This is something I got off eBay uh, a couple of weeks ago and I got a good deal on it. So this is an original Daypole Sea Devil. Um, I don't have one of these in the collection yet. Um, so it's on the newer style Daypole packaging and it looks like it's been well loved, bit of dust there, um, so I'll give that a bit of a clean. Um, not too much to look at the back, just a, a, I guess a bit of a checklist of uh, figures if you haven't sort of already checked it out. Really sort of happy to sort of get that one into the collection. For me, like Daypole figures were kind of the first Doctor Who merchandise that I got, so um, they hold a bit of nostalgic memories for me. I know they're not always the best uh, quality of figures. Yeah, I like the cheesiness of it. And um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. He's got his uh, green saff cloth uh, outfit, uh, including his belt um, and his accessory as well. So um, I think they've done a pretty good job on that one. That is the Doctor Who Daypole Sea Devil. And that's from 1996. So that is the Daypole Sea Devil looking really cool. That will definitely go well uh, with my Doctor Who collection. So here we go, this is the last package uh, for today um, and uh, this is quite a heavy package uh, so I think I know what's in here but we're just going to crack on and have a look. It's very nicely um, very nicely packaged, which is always good to see. Nothing worse than getting something that's in, sent in a plastic bag or a cardboard or paper satchel. Um, so yeah, I can see that um, they've sent this. They've sent this uh, quite nicely. So this is not something that I generally sort of collect a lot of, but when I saw it on eBay, I had to get it. So this is the second Doctor, played by Patrick Trelton, um, and this is a um, mini statue of him. Uh, this is amazing condition, um, better than what I was expecting. Um, yeah, the paint apps on this are excellent. Um, and uh, yeah, really cool. He's got his little recorder in the side there. He's got his little red handkerchief hanging out there and obviously his blue bow tie. Um, he is looking really, really nice and I'm happy to sort of get that 
into the collection. Looking forward to setting up the second Doctor and place him in my Doctor Who collection. He'll have a special spot uh, there as well. So there you go, that is the second Doctor, uh, Patrick Troughton. Now these are actually made by Underground Toys, uh, which is um, a company in England. Uh, and this is actually uh, number statue 991. So um, they must have only made a limited, yeah, limited edition uh, of the porcelain statue. Uh, and this was officially licensed by BBC as well. So I might start collecting um, the other doctors and, and monsters as well so there you go if you do have um, this particular porcelain doctor statue let me know in the comments down below um, yeah but uh, there you go that is really cool to have that one I do look a bit hot and sweaty um, I did sort of put the hat stand together before um, the show we do have some time-lapse footage to show me setting it up um, and you can sort of see my frustration in that Pretty impressive, uh, a lot taller than I was expecting. Uh, this hat stand was ordered through eBay, um, and I think I got it sort of around the $45 mark. Um, I did a bit of research. It was the closest black hat stand that I could find in regards to uh, getting it as close to as what Tom Baker, the fourth doctor, had in his console room. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. Um, it's all solid wood as well, so. If you're game um, and you need a hat stand or you want to sort of display your um, items, um, would definitely recommend it for any collection room or Doctor Who fan. So there you go. Thank you so much for staying with me to the end of the episode. What a cracker of an episode. We uh, looked at the Seventh Doctor umbrella, obviously the Seventh Doctor jumper, sweater, uh, the hat stand, and a couple other cool Doctor Who toys as well mixed in there as well. So if you've liked what you've seen today, uh, please like and subscribe. It will help me creating more content. I love being able to share this to the toy community um, and the pop culture community as well. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. And who are you going to call? Ryan the Collector Kid. See you later. But wait, there's one more thing. We're going to test out this jumper and umbrella outside. Can you hear that sound? It sounds like Daleks. Oh, this is a job for the Doctor. We better get on and find out what's going on. Because Daleks are up to something. I can sense it.